NBA Youngboy ran into some new problems. And to be honest with you, I am not 100% sure that he should be being held to the consequences in which they're about to push him to. Because consistency is as important as efficiency. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, the judge in the case of okay, just so we can be clear, uh, NBA young boy or young boy never broke again. He's had. I'm guessing quite a few judges that has been officiating over his cases because he kind of consistently is in court over the last couple of years. So let me speak about the judge that I'm talking about specifically. A couple of years ago, NBA young boy was involved in or allegedly involved in a drive by shooting of some kind. And so what happened was, the judge ended up giving him 10 years suspended sentence. But when he gave him the 10 years suspended sentence, there was a criteria that was attached to it that NBA young boy had to abide by in order to stay free. One of these criteria was he couldn't be on the internet. See, now, hold on, before we go any further, this is the thing that I find extremely odd and weird. The judges are always talking about these guys can't be on the internet. And then these guys go straight back to the internet. Nobody ever gets in trouble. So just me being who I am, I'm like, they need to need to stop telling these dudes this or enforce it. One of the two. Anyway, it says, it says, uh, NBA young boy formally pleaded guilty to aggravated assault with a firearm in 2016 drive by shooting. He was given a suspended 10 year sentence and put on probation for three years. Judge Bonnie Jackson says NBA young boy seemed seemingly violated his probation which mandated he stay off social media after a video appeared of him talking trash and smack now look just so we could be clear on this the way that they treat these artists it's not fair you have to be consistent you can't say y'all guys got to stay off social media and then when they get on social media there's no issue being held but just so we could be clear the real reason in which why I think that they even have in this uh, situation going on where you have the judge basically saying that they plan on, pardon me, it says it's determined that NBA young boy was the one seen in the video. They're talking about a different video. Hold on one second. And Jackson says he plans on, he plans, she plans to revoke his probation at his next court appearance which uh, that means that he's going to have to serve the time that he was supposed to serve the 10 years. And that court appearance is going to be on June 21st. Now, I'm not putting all of this on the court. Obviously, NBA Youngboy knew that he had to stay away from certain things. He decided that he was not going to stay away from them. And I'm not just talking about the, uh, the internet presence, uh, the social media presence at this point, because we all know why, what, is really the cause or the root of the issue or the problem. For everybody that don't know, NBA Youngboy was actually in court previously, and the DA said, made, the DA made a point to say that it's obvious that he's always going to be around guns, he's always going to be around drugs. These things are obvious. Now, to be 100% sure, they might have said that about Kodak Black, but the point being is, all of these young artists, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. That sounds like something that they would have said about NBA Youngboy also. You get it? All of these rappers, they get in trouble with the law. And then even after they get in trouble with the law, 
they then still go on social media and show that they're doing all of these shenanigans that they're not supposed to be involved in. There just comes a point where their personal responsibility has to be attached to your actions. Now, just so we can also be clear, NBA Youngboy also was arrested on two other occasions since 2017, neither of which prompted that same judge to revoke his probation. Like I said, these guys have to be consistent with these artists or anyone in general that goes in front of them in the court of law. In 2018, he was booked on a fugitive warrant in Florida on domestic violence, kidnapping, and an assault charge. Now, if you're not going to violate his probation for that, but you're going to violate his probation for being on social media? I don't understand. He was arrested again in February on disorderly conduct, drug, and other charges related to an incident in an Atlanta hotel. So you're not going to you're not going to violate his probation for any of these other things. But you're going to violate his probation for being on social media and throwing a threat. You're not going to violate his probation for actual actions. But you will violate his probation for him speaking like he might actually get involved in something when he could have just been talking shit. These guys have to be more consistent. I don't think that this is fair. Me, personally speaking. I'm not saying that they should not ever violate him. What I'm saying is you can't have these two other situations that I just mentioned, the domestic, the domestic violence kidnapping assault charge and not violate them, and then also have a drug and other charges related to an incident in an Atlanta hotel and not violate them, but decide to violate them because he made a video on YouTube or wherever he made them. I'm, I'm assuming it's on IG, Instagram. So I think that that's part of what the problem is whenever we're looking at our culture in general, we're not treated consistently. This is very inconsistent. Now, I understand giving people chances, but if you're going to give somebody a chance because of a domestic violence, kidnapping, assault charge, but you're not going to give the same individual a chance because they threw some threats over IG, that's just too far at the other end of the spectrum. In my, be in my belief. While I really think. That they're deciding that they might revoke this man's probation. What I really think this is. Is because he has random people running up on him and shooting at him. That's why I think they, they That's why. They don't know where he might be. With some random mofo might run up on him. And shoot at him. And another innocent bystander gets killed. These rappers have to understand. They will let you stay out there and get yourself killed. They will let you do that. But the minute that you start letting in, or should I say, because you're not letting or prohibiting or letting anything happen. But the minute that innocent bystanders start getting shot and killed and a child was grazed. The minute that wherever you go at, it seems like there's going to be a war zone. You better believe they're going to be talking about getting you off the street. If you want to have a war zone, if you want to create a war zone, you better keep that in the hood. You don't bring that in front of a Trump building. And that's what I believe all of this is about. I believe even them threatening to take back, to, to, to uh, force him to serve them 10 years is based solely on the fact that that happened in front of a Trump building. Period. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.